Hi readers, Chris here. Welcome to my channel. Um, have a bit of a different video for you today and that is going to be remembering and talking about the life of one of our fellow booktubers, Pax Panic. Many of you watching already know this, but uh, Pax was a very much beloved member of our booktube community. Um, and unfortunately, she did lose her battle with cancer the other week. Since I heard the news of her passing, I've been thinking a lot about um, what it means to be friends with someone on YouTube and what I could do or say, you know, make the perfect um, remembrance video, say the right things, all that stuff. And I think it's times like these that really teach you that you don't really have a lot of control. Um, you kind of have to just let go of control and there's really nothing you can do or say at the end of the day that's going to make it better. Um, but I think that myself and a lot of us here on booktube um, just want to talk about Pax and keep her spirit alive. In case you didn't know her, um, there's so many things that you can learn both about Pax and from Pax, and I'll be linking her channel down below. Her partner said he was gonna keep her channel going. She had filmed a bunch of videos that hadn't even been posted yet at the time of her passing, so I would definitely encourage you to check those out, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna do a couple things today. Um, one is I wrote a poem in remembrance of Pax, which I'm super embarrassed about, but I'm gonna read it anyway. Uh, number two, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about her, about my personal experience with Pax, because I think everyone has a different experience and I wanna share what I knew about her um, with the world. And then three, um, what I plan to do kind of moving forward to um, honor Pax's memory. So number one, um, I did write a quick poem um, the morning I found out what happened. And those of you who have been following me know I'm not the biggest uh, poetry person. And I'm laughing because when I get very nervous or I feel awkward, um, my go-to is usually to like to laugh and giggle about it. But um, Pax loved poetry. She loved poetry specifically horror poetry, but she just was a big poetry lover. She always did poetry readings. She has such a great reading voice. Um, so I wrote this little poem to honor her memory, which I'm going to read to you now. It doesn't technically have a title, so I will just call this uh, Ode to Pax. Our queen of green, never before seen, what made you appear? You burst on the scene, filled our screens with shades of green, your smile stole all our fear. Can you ever really know what you see in a show? Can real connections be made? We've never really met in real life, and yet, somehow, your spirit won't fade. One green girl, a queen in our world, one we will never forget. It's hard you're not here, thought you'd always be near. Now all I feel is regret. You burned way too bright to hold the world's light, and so it had to let you go. Our queen of the green, the best you've ever seen, how much you mean, you'll never know. So now that that's out of the way, um, I just want to talk a little bit about my personal experience uh, with Pax. So I met Pax about two-ish years ago, like most of us here on uh, BookTube did. We started like commenting on each other's videos, and I don't even remember like who discovered who first, but once we kind of started commenting on each other's videos and like getting to know each other, there was really three things about Pax that really stood out to me and really like made me connect with her on like a deeper level. Number one is going to be Pax's love of animals. Um, those of you who were close with her know that she had a, a puppy. She had a dog whose name is escaping me at the moment. I could probably go pull up an old video and uh, pull it up. Um, someone leave it in the comments section below. But because of my ferrets and her, you know, puppy, we just really connected on about animals. She also read like a lot of animal fantasy stories when she was younger. We laughed about that. Anyone that has a pet and follows Pax knows how much she loves animals. 
Every year, PAX used to do this thing that she called the Paxi Awards, which was basically a uh, superlative awards for us on uh, BookTube. She always gave out an award for, you know, best pet, which of course, you know, we all have the best pet. I have the best pets. Uh, Bookish Chaz, he has a cat named um, Ari. He's got the best pet. Uh, Dave and Olive. Olive is definitely the best pet. But Pax always made sure to recognize everyone's pet, everyone's animals. And to me, like, not everyone has a true love and appreciation for animals. You may think that's crazy, but it's true. Not everyone does. Pax definitely does. She definitely has a deep love of animals. And that was one thing that like, I really connected with her about like pretty quickly. While editing this video, I realized there was something I didn't say about the the love of animals and Pax that I that I wanted to mention that I forgot about as I was rambling and rambling. Um, and that is that not only does Pax have a love of animals, but she really understood like what animals mean to people if that makes sense and for example um if you've been following my channel for a while you'll know that you know some of the ferrets that i had when i first started this channel aren't here anymore um most recently i had a ferret named snowball she was an older ferret she was an old lady we had had her for a number of years she, honestly she was old when she came to us um but she was old and she just chugged along for like the final years of her life she just she loved hanging out with uh jack jack and meepers um old lady snowball she had a she had such a funny personality. Um, she did end up passing away from old age. Um, and when Pax found out about that, when she found out that Snowball had passed away, she actually sent me a, um, a package and she sent me this, which is a little crocheted ferret and it's white just like uh, Snowball was white. So many of us have received things from PAX over the years. So many of us. Because that is just the type of person that PAX is. I'm not going to say was. That is just the type of person PAX is. The type of person who would go out of their way to send something to you just to try and make you feel better. That is the type of person that she is. Number two is that Pax really enjoyed yoga. So this is not something I talk about on BookTube that much, but I do talk about it over on Bookstagram. I talk about it in my stories a lot, but a few years ago, I did start doing like a daily yoga practice. I got really into yoga. And actually, one of my best friends, like in real life, became a certified yoga teacher. To So to help support her on her journey, I started doing a lot of yoga. So as I kind of talked about that over on uh, Instagram, Pax let me know that she was also a certified yoga teacher. So that was something else we started talking about a lot, connected with a lot. I started, I was doing yoga every day. She was teaching yoga. It was something we both enjoyed and were passionate about. So again, it was just another one of those things that I was like, hey, this girl is awesome. She loves animals. She does yoga. I mean, obviously we were like best friends from like another mother. Like we clearly grew up together because we just love all the same things in life. And the third thing I really connected with Pax about is uh, Terry Goodkind. So yes, Pax obviously is a lover of horror, but she also has a special place in her heart for fantasy, but not all fantasy, specifically the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. She has mentioned this in videos before, she's mentioned this in comments, but the uh, Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind is her favorite fantasy series of all time. And guess what? It is my favorite fantasy series of like all time. It was the first like adult fantasy series that I ever read back in like high school. And for that reason, it is one of my all time favorites. So Pax and I always laughed about this, always joked about it. And I really like in the back of my mind would have loved to do a reread of this with her. Like I think we would have had so much fun doing that. But once I learned that, like I really knew after she said that, that we were like 
kindred spirits. I always knew that there were other people out there like me, other people that liked animals and yoga and the Sword of Truth series. I, I had just never met them in real life. I had never met them until PAX. I didn't honestly really believe that they existed until I met PAX. So PAX made me believe that there were other people out there that were like me. We might look different and wear different clothes, but on the inside, we all love the same things. So this kind of brings me to the third thing that I wanted to talk about today, the third topic, which is what I want to do to honor PAX's memory moving forward. Remembering PAX and PAX's love for the Sword of Truth series does make me want to reread it. So therefore, I'm going to reread Wizard's First Rule and the rest of the series. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to start. So I guess my question would be, if you're still watching this video, do you want to read this? Do you want to do a reread? Do you want to do a buddy read with me? Heck, if enough people were interested, I would do a group read. But if anyone is interested, whether you've read it before and you want to do a reread, or maybe you've never read it and you want to discover it for the first time, I'm only going to do like the original series, not like all the extra books. And there are like 12 of them, so we'll see how far I get. But I, but I at least want to start with Wizard's First Rule. So if you are interested in doing a buddy read, a read along, a group read, let me know in the comments below. Depending on how many people are interested, I'll either do it on my own or I will set up a buddy read or a group read. The other thing I am going to try to do to honor Pax's memory is keep her little Library of Horrors series going. So Pax has this series over on her channel where she reads um, like creepy children's books. And it's funny, like you would be surprised how many creepy children's books there are. But I actually found one. Um, I did a video back in, it was either March or April, where um, I pulled a box of children's books out from my closet that I hadn't looked in in like years. And I found this book right here, which has some amazing creepy photos in it. I didn't like, I haven't looked to see what the story is actually about, but like clearly there's uh, some, there's some stuff going on in here. When I had found this book, um, I had offered to send it to Pax and she said that she wanted it. This was in the beginning of May. And at that time, something had happened, which I'm not going to get into, but basically I found myself without a car and I found myself without a way to get to the post office. Not only that, but I also had started a list of things that I wanted to send to PAX. I didn't want to just send her a book. I wanted to send her a whole care package. So I had started like collecting little things that I was going to package up and send to her. <sighs> Unfortunately, I waited too long and now I won't have that chance anymore. And that makes me really sad. Cut to 20 minutes later. Um, I'm going to end this now before I uh, completely lose it. If you have made it all the way to the end of the video, um, thank you for sticking with me. Um, thank you for helping me keep Pax's spirit alive. Uh, I'll be back soon <laughs> with more bookish videos. I'm not going to ask anyone to like, like or comment because I feel like it's kind of weird now but as always I appreciate everyone's support and I'll be back soon in a, another bookish video. All right everyone thanks for watching and happy reading.